Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Mask and Twin Flame read for you today. The energies are very, very heavy. I was just at the gym and my trainer was also complaining about the heavy energies. She was also very drained. So I had a little bit of a purge last night too. I just really missed my twin. So you guys might be feeling some of that too, as well as us building up to the transformation of Jesus. You're gonna be feeling those betrayal energies coming up this week. Um, it is April 11th, 2019 today. 11 is the number of the Justice card. And then Justice, again, it's just truth and balance. But uh, it's definitely coming up in the read today. And the day adds up to 27, 9, which is the Ace of Wands. So it's that new passion and justice. I was also getting uh, in the coding today the Grand Poopa of Purges today. Or coming up like this week, building up to the full moon. And it was done at 928. 28 is the two of flames or the two of wands. It is the twins. The major arcana for the read were the wheel, the great wheel. It's the Syrian starseed deck. So the great wheel of fortune, which is normally the wheel of fortune, uh, the strength card, and then alchemy, which is usually the temperance card. There were three cups, two wands, two swords, and one pentacle. The court cards were the king of cups. That was the only one in the main read. And then we had the nine of pentacles was, let's see. The nine of pentacles isn't a court card, but I see it most of the time as a person. And then the page of pentacles was the card after the read. So that was also within the read. So we have the king of cups, the page of pentacles, and potentially the nine of pentacles here. The numbers uh, were 4,295, the number 10, 4,305, 30, which is the four of wands, or the union energy, 21, which is the world, 44, which is the four of cups, or the mastering, grounding, and integrating card, as well as can be boredom and not settling. Um, also 55, the ace of swords came up, which is truth, and then 3,221, 45, which is the Five of Cups, or the Grief card, or the Letting Go and um, of one thing so that you can go to the other. It's like passing the baton of, of, of suffering, though, of pain and loss and regret. And then we have 24 of the Queen of, of Wands came up, and I'm losing my voice, so there needs to be some truth spoken there. And then 57 is the Three of Swords. Okay, so it's definitely much, very much about the dynamic of the, the three today. And there's a lot of, uh, it's, a, it's a long message today. There's a lot of information here about building up to the, to the transformation of the death of Jesus and the rising, as well as a lot of the energies going on around that. I have specific messages from Jesus in this reading, so please stay tuned. It's, it was very important. Um, there were no numerology cards in the coding line today. The message was about... Um, well... The emperor, the emperor came up, and my, my voice is going, so the emperor definitely has to speak their truth. The high priestess, the hermit, and the hierophant. All of those energies were in the coding today. Mastering the grand atlas, the weight of the world upon your shoulders. All right? And letting go of all the sweet stuff and being authentic as opposed to sweet or a saint. Okay? Also, it could just be the signs of those, those different characters so aries pisces virgo and taurus were coming up uh, to met the two to master the god burdens and confessions and the saint bs i was specifically getting in the codes bs the saint the sweet all that stuff it's mastering the flames this big purge you can't be sweet when you're dealing with authentic purge you need to get it out of you I was also getting um, fortuitous and nine to five stuff, which is funny because nine to five came up yesterday, but it was in the coding today. It wasn't in the coding yesterday. And to master the grand flames, the grand fire. So some of their may, don't be surprised if you hear about fires this week. So uh, I was also getting then SSBS, all right, which brings up Gilligan's Island again, which keeps coming up day after day this week. The minnow was small fish, and I was getting, you know, to go for the big fish, not the small fish. Um, also, the grand poopa, 
And my stomach started talking, so it's also BS of bowel sounds, which is a purge, the grand purge. All right, so we're going into uh, a switch after the 18th of the full moon and the, the death of Jesus is right on the full moon and then Easter three days later. So don't forget, all of these energies are coming together here. So it's not just one or the other, and it's not just you, it's all these energies, the strong energies coming into the earth, the, the dynamic between Jesus and Mary Magdalene and the apostles are playing out right now, and then we're switching to another, another type of purge, apparently, according to um, say Elizabeth at House of Items had, had uh, Jason on the other day, and it was some really interesting information, so you might want to check it out. But what he was saying was that we're going into a mental plane purge after the 18th. So um, some of the coding that I got here were, let's see, chapter 19 came up, A World in Flames. It was all about flames, things going up in flames. Chapter 19, which is the sun, A World in Flames review, that was flashcards and Quizlet. And then some of the wording, under that heading said, believed by Hitler to be a master race destined to rule the world. Chapter nine, Raging Flames, Master of the Stars. Chapter eight, The Devouring Flames, part one. And that was from gravitytales.com. And the words underneath the headings were talking about drugs and manufactured drugs being the devouring flames. And then, which was really funny, the fourth heading that came up was one of my own videos, the Twin Flame Union Divine Masculine channeled, Lynn, my channel Linda McCartney. Actually came up in the headings and that's never happened ever before. Uh, chap the next one was chapter four of Raging Flames and that was from quote, quote v.com. And then it said, it was five by the time I got to the city, I'm supposed to meet him at 6.30 which was really interesting because in the beginning of my journey, I was trying to connect with my twin to see if he could tell me to meet him somewhere, if I was supposed to meet him somewhere. And I was guided to go to uh, a gym near uh, the, off, the, the area where I used to go up there. And um, I went up just to see if he would show up there to see if my intuition was on. And I was guided to go up there at six o'clock and I waited for about 15 minutes and. I, I never saw him. So I drove up the road and he passed right by me going in that direction toward that gym. So I don't know if he goes to that gym or not, but um, that was would have been around 6.30 and 6.30 is coming up here again, which I was guided back to that time. And that, that was like three years ago. So, or two years ago, I can't remember. It was, around, it was a long time ago. But that was very interesting. And then another heading was 5.4 flames and forces. Another heading was the stock market has predicted nine of the past five recessions. And that was from Forbes. Um, then I was getting 24 frames by Jason Isbell, and that was ukulele chords and PDF. And it said underneath C colon, and that was from StuartGreenhill.com, C colon and colon C, this is how you make yourself worthy of the love that she dot dot dot. And then the next heading was a flames uh, residue was discontinued. And what uh, caught my eye was love, it said love square and Tiki's POV. And Pavlov's dog came up yesterday as Pavlov's lion and here we have Tiki's POV or Pavlov's. And love square was coming up next to it. Um, then another heading was uh, inventory chapter 503 and 53 is the Knight of Swords. It's that energy. Um, half a step God realm. And that was from wuxiaworld.com. And it said underneath Huang and the 10, and I'm just paraphrasing, but Huang and the 10 directions, continent experts, and I was getting like the divine directors, swallowed healing pellets and sat down to readjust their connection, lying in wait for the nine. So the collective consciousness, the super forces, alliances, massive army, 
and as expected five hours later, and five is the expansion energy, Alliance Army entered mountain range where Huang waited. And it reminded me of Close Encounters. Okay, so Close Encounters of the third kind. So some of you may be having a Close Encounter with, with your Masculine's Karmic. And that was at 1010. Definitely um, the energies throughout here with the numbers and everything were coming up. The sun came up, the hermit, strength, emperor, lover's union. 630 is literally lover's union. Uh, queen of wands. And the hermit came up twice. Also, I was getting, uh, when I was doing the coding and talking about the, the burdens and the confessions and to let go of the saint and sweet BS, I was also getting uh, instantly about Thomas Kincaid because, you know, there was a lot of talk about, and this was at 9.43 this morning, that he died because uh, no one in his field respected his work. Yet that shouldn't matter because the people loved his work. He, he made so much money off of his, his paintings because the colors are just so vibrant and beautiful. And that if he loved what he did, why does it matter? So make sure, you know, you, if you see people in those types of situations, you know, to give them a hand. There's, um, you know, with these heavy energies, there may be a lot of feelings of wanting to die because it's such, you know, difficult energy just in, in general right now. So if you have someone who's already going through a very difficult time in something like the Twin Flame Journey, you know, give, you know, lend a hand to someone who might need it. It doesn't matter if anyone receives what you're doing. As long as you love to do it, you're still going to do it. Um, and again, the grand purge, the grand poopa of purges. And nine to five, it's saying this week, basically, nine to five, master those flames, your transmutations. Know who you are. Know your power. Your power of Atlas, right? So Atlas is lifting weights. It's carrying the weight of the world upon your shoulder. And I was just at the gym with my with my trainer, okay? And notice that um, I wasn't at LA Fitness, but that guidance from a couple of years ago was going to an LA Fitness. And notice that LA Fitness is City of Angels Fitness at Lover's Union, 630, Lover's Union. So it's pretty cool how the, uh, the translations come through. The underlying energies of the signs here for this read were Cancer, Aries, Virgo, Sagittarius, Libra, and Aquarius. Those were the only signs in the underlying energy. And the only ones I know which direction they were in were Aries and Virgo were both reversed in the underlying energy, but they change in the body of the read. So I'll let you know that as well. As I start the read, it was uh, 10, 28, and 28 is the Two of Flames. And the underlying energy started out with the Two of Cups, with the Four of Cups beneath it, all right? So our chalice is in the Syrian Starseed deck here, okay? So that's the underlying energy for this deck. And I have a lot of underlying energy themes because I'm dealing with five decks plus the Romance Angels and the Numerology deck. So the Two of Cups home... Two cups, so the masculine and the feminine, are home over isolating, inspired to come together, so there may be a lot of feelings between them right now, mastering an island unto its own, between the two of them, stranded on a deserted isle, so Gilligan's Island's coming up here again. And the number 42 came up at the beginning of this read as well, which is again the two of cups, separately from the card, the two of cups, so the number was coming up separate from this card. And then the number 14 of the temperance card, the angels, was also coming up right here. The two of cups and the angels, the two angels. And then I was getting um, two as one, double mint gum. And there was something important about mint here. Two as one, double mint gum. Um, and I was getting the chain links um, of like the, um, the energies of the... Um, the Merkaba going through you. You cannot keep them apart, the twins. If twins, you will come together. You cannot keep them apart because you grow together. When friends are in short supply, like in Gilligan's Island, you stay away from romance because you're afraid to ruin the connection. Think about that. If you're stranded on an island with five people or whatever it is, um, and you're and you're you like someone, but what happens if it doesn't work out and you're stuck with them for the rest of your life on this island together? So maybe you're scared to get together with them because you'd rather keep the friendship than have the relationship. Um, but this ruins the connection. It's self-sabotage. 
If you can't stay away from each other, why would you want to? Or why would you force yourself to stay away? Justice is at play with four swords exposed today out of ten, because yesterday this came up covered uh, three out of ten. So the three of swords was coming up today, the four. So then I was getting this sequence that um, we'd be at ten, the ten swords, if we're going three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, by April 17th. So on the 18th, which is the full moon and the death of Jesus, we'd be at 11 swords, right? So there's not 11 swords in the deck. There's no card like that because 11 is justice. That is in, it, in itself that sword energy, okay? So we have on the 18th justice where, where Jesus was hung. So was that really justice? And stay tuned because there's more information coming here. Um, there's a countdown to justice hanging from the tree because you realize that a cross is made out of wood. So when you see a lot of cards representing the crucifixion, um, they may have trees in them and it's very representative of the cross because it's wood. So count down to justice hanging from the tree, the cross, the wood, to ground and integrate, to master the death and the pain, the crown of thorns pulling on the divine masculine's head. So you may literally feel like his head's being pulled off of him because he's being pulled off up by the crown. Finding peace, making peace with the Queen of Cups angel. Jesus punishing himself for what he did to Mary Magdalene so that he could return to her in pure angel form, patient and one step at a time, off the beaten path. Now mind you, and spirits connecting with me, okay? And I, when I get this information, I re-ask to make sure I'm getting this right, and this is what Jesus wants me to say, okay? The 144 come together. It's like equating what Hitler was saying about the master race. It wasn't actually a master race. It was the angels coming, right? And, it, and what I'm getting here, and there's something I'd gotten in the numbers with the 144,000. I forget where it was, but it was a mathematical download that I'd gotten. And it's not 144,000. It's 144,000 plus 144, which is 144, 144, which is 144 divine feminines and 144 divine masculines. Um, and that equals 288, which is 2 at 8, 8, Lion's Gate. Okay, so twins at Lions Gate, which happens to be 8 8 2019, adds up to 28, which again is the twins, the two of flames. The one that sits by the creek with fabrics of animals, sacral, and silvery white across from peaceful, watery way that angels can skip across to see Peter Pan in living color. The little girl who slept in her soft pink bathing suit or tutu getting ready to swim or dance across to show the masculine her pink compassion. The masculine must navigate on steady ground, or the boat, until he is grounded in a storm. The tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. So don't give up, Divine Feminine, near the fearless crew. And Spirit's still connecting with me. The Queen of Pentacles is out finding her ground, after depressed family member drained her happiness, causing a purge, just like I had a purge last night, um, inspiring growth for both in letting go of that which is not joy. Or a child who learned negative self-talk from their family, from their family legacy, their line, overindulging in emotional dissatisfaction, crying or drinking too much, partying and throwing up, or indulging in over-isolation as such, due to arousal and no direction, inspired without knowing where or how to use that energy, turns to frustration and anger or into sorrow and tears. And then I turn the page and it's right at 11 o'clock, 1100. So here we are at 11 and justice again. Third party sadness of why angels are not together. trust and trust is all about having faith knowing that we don't have control over anything really that we have to have faith because we we have a knowing about this 
that um, it is all in divine timing and that's what the sur surrender is is don't worry about it have fun with your time now and when your masculine's ready you know the divine source energy the universe will bring you together and trusting in that I was also getting getting to know each other underneath that so as you are you're separate from each other you're never really separate from each other and you are actually getting to know each other by living in each other's etheric bodies together while not being physically together the two of cups soulmates with the thorn in between the space in between the words the thorn in your side the karmic the mother the mother-in-law whatever it is the third party in between a feminine aggressive showing muscle to fight for her man as she holds him by the hair which is ownership sound familiar Gilligan's Island again the skipper who owns the ship the strongest physically wins if you lean on truth like a dummy mannequin gives time for another to get between you and get in okay so it's saying like the the karmic is showing her physical strength because that's the traditional way of winning being stronger right so the karmic shows the ownership of owning the masculine but if the feminine leans on her truth like a mannequin and does nothing about it it gives time for another to get in between you and get in so whether that's a mother mother-in-law the karmic herself or another party because he's broken up with this karmic remember trust that if he did end up with somebody else it's because that he needed another lesson to be best for you when you come together. The King of Pentacles in, is intimidating girls, insisting on rescuing them. So he intimidates them to make them in a vulnerable position so then they can be rescued. It puts them in that vulnerable position so then he can be the savior later on. Uh, just like uh, the, ma the boys pulling your hair on the playground and then flirting and getting together with another girl who's easy for them because he doesn't like her as much so it's not scary for him it's no challenge because he knows he can outsmart them then he comes back later always dreaming of his true partner who got away because he was too scared to approach them the one who loved him but he was too afraid that she would have hurt him and now finds that he has broken both of their hearts hers and his thus guilt and shame and his need to repair the situation and this is the retribution of making amends. Amen. Notice that is the word A and men. Slang for one in lack of his woe. His woe men. Woman. In Mary Magdalene's case, woe turned into ho. Even if she had slept around, would that have deemed her unworthy of love? Of course not. Do the dance, do si do, to remove the pillar blocking your view of each other, who is conceited and thinks she can strong arm her way out of this, the conflict, the fire, that needs to be transmuted. Masculine having trouble discerning who is the bullshitter here, thus indecision, thus screws himself, thus screws his twin, and the BSers are off the hook and free to go. But crack, not bullshit, <laughs> is the key to knowing, the fat, the love, the truth of his left leg that causes the right knee pain. The unintegrated chariot in chaos, is chaos or war, whereas, whereas patient, controlled chariot stays aligned in powerhouse tunnel vision and what feels good to him. The Divine Masculine, use your body, use your intuition, not what you think is right, but what you know feels right and left and all around sound and light. News or messages of partnership, fighting and moving, there is completion here for the Masculine. Also underlying energy. New passion has stirred. New branding and fire of Jupiter retrograde. Three break in to two and one. The Queen of Pentacles is reversed with the King, King of Swords reversed. And the Queen of Wands is professing heartbreak. She's professing heartbreak and separation. So in this under, underlying energy, I was getting the Queen of the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords both reversed next to each other. And the Queen of Wands upright. 
but I was definitely getting in two people here, they're upright, but because they feel entitled. It's not because they're ne necessarily a positive person. I'm getting they feel justified in doing what they're doing. It doesn't mean they're in the right. So the Queen of Pentacles is coming up as ungrounded because she's reversed, and the King of Swords just not being in his truth. That traditionally comes up as the masculine not being in his full truth. But he's looking at her as the Queen of Wands is on top of the situation upright, feeling justified in branding herself the wounded party for attention to her false blue eyes set. Um, and before I go on, I'm going to tell you all of the, the signs in the reed. All 12 signs were represented in the body of the reed. Uh, Libra was reversed. Taurus masculine was upright. Taurus feminine reversed. Aquarius upright. Gemini reversed. And Leo was upright, but Aquarius and Leo were the ones I was getting as upright but entitled. All right, so that's not necessarily positive energy, but they felt they were positive energy. Um, Pisces, not sure which direction there. Um, could be upright. Uh, Capricorn's upright. Aries, mostly reversed, but a little bit of upright as well, possibly. Scorpio is reversed. Cancer upright. Sagittarius reversed. And Virgo upright. There's a third party separation here. And then I was getting the tea party or the Boston tea party, but also it could have to do with like little kids who would sit down and have a tea party. For a show of true passion. Third party separation for a show of true passion. Not that she cares, but then exploits the hurt of her minions after taking on her false light all around her have dimmed. Her plan to stay in full attention. So it was bringing up this energy around some of the karmics where, you know, they're, they had, tend to have an arrogant air to them. And so now uh, that they are separated and everything's coming out, they're using it to get the sympathy card. Um, even to the expense of children or people around them that she uses as her minions after taking on her false light all around her have dimmed because she has drained them of their energies you know taking their light from them so that she could shine her plan to stay in full attention the masculine's royal roots and her power over the kids not really caring who gets hurt as long as she gets his okay and I'm, I'm this is the literal translation from the cards, all right? And obviously this isn't for everyone, but it's definitely playing out for some. The Queen of Wands also has third party. So some of the karmics have a third party as well. Some may be going into a twin. They may be starting their journey with a twin. Another woman, perhaps. There's definitely a same-sex relationship here where a woman's going from a marriage to a man and she's been having, she may have been having an affair with her twin already, but maybe going into that journey now Another woman, perhaps, or the King of Cups, Emperor Reversed, or the King of Cups or Emperor Reversed can be two separate people as well. Or her and this Emperor or King of Cups are a thing. Or the Queen of Wands is waking up and connecting with her higher self to trust and move to completion because she may be starting her own journey. Or partnering with Sagittarius, who's younger than her, a third party or a much older man, could even be the masculine's father, elder, teacher, uncle, boss, or older brother. And she'll have what she wants because she's the queen of wands, okay? That is her personality. So recently coming up is the king of cups here. The king of cups watching with right eye, the moon, the false light, not working with the emperor reversed, who's out of control, especially at night. If the king of cups divine, is the divine masculine, then the karmic covers his left eye like a patch, so he can't go into his feminine, which then sets him off, and he can't focus at work. If that is not him, it could be a father, father-in-law, uncle, boss, or brother, who wants to continue controlling him, but not working But this is the control, this man who wants to control the masculine. It doesn't work for him. He's noticing mid-moon cycle or maybe even at night that it's not working. Like he may have control over him at certain times during the day, but that it's not working for him at night or it's not working certain times during the month all of a sudden. But noticing this. 
Or the divine masculine is just very unhappy in a partnership, totally emotionally detached and isolated, inspired by another, an angel. The foundation happens to be brain wars, okay? About the Queen of Cups announcements, or a call to action, to separation, or feel heartbroken again in a purge. As a mental stage of purging approaches, which I brought up with Jason from, uh, from House of I Items with Elizabeth. Or the Queen of Wands partnering with third party angel friends, so just a friend who's another twin flame, at the dismay of the twin. So here, uh, if the Divine Masculine's partner, the karmic, is actually someone else's twin, she may now be getting into the twin flame community and partnering up with another friend twin and now her twin, not the divine masculine, but her twin is now at, you know, feeling the negativity of that. So he doesn't like that she's partnering up with somebody else. It doesn't matter if it's a girl or a guy. Um, because the, the, her twin isn't ready to let her in. So he's just being hurt by that. And so it's triggering whatever journey they're supposed to go on. Centrally, destiny forces his hand, the masculine. For the Divine Masculine to give up unsatisfactory love and start again with what he has. And he goes into that low energy of not feeling worthy, that he doesn't have enough or he isn't enough, yet his marriage and or Taurus energies are holding him down to feeling abandoned, destitute, desolate, alone, even if not. Okay, so he's thinking that... Um, um, but he's not worthy, he's not enough because this low energy, when it's really these energies coming in as it is, but also the karmic who's been draining him, and that's what's making him feel drained, is that, that low energy of never being enough. So fighting all the time about money and power or control, while the king of cups with red hair possibly is actually controlling both of them. The father-son dynamic. But if the father is controlling the divine masculine, the divine masculine is also allowing his father to control his divine feminine. Romantic tie with flame. Because they are one. The challenge being... So this was the central energy is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? The challenge being here is the Ten of of uh, wands, the Ten of Flames, the towering inferno about to blow as the Divine Master of Flame makes his way up and out of the dark basement, ready to take on anyone to defend his healing, his dreams, his sorrows. His father may or may not be his worst enemy. The enemy could just be himself, his man against child, taking down the vulnerable, seen as his own weakness. If he accepted his twin, he'd then have to accept his own perceived weakness. When his dream is to be the emperor, the star of his own world, horns bent to the right, losing his prowess, hung up on defending himself to others, because we know that you don't need to defend yourself. To fight for the right without question or pause, to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause, okay, that's the impossible dream. However, he didn't count on love that love of self is more powerful than all of that. To raise his vibration is to raise it for those he loves too. Him defending an Aquarius who's just full of conceit against the vulnerable, the innocent, the ones who truly love him. The emperor may be losing his balls, softening to the love of the Queen of Cups, destined to ultimate fantasy 5D life. So now, crowning the Divine Masculine is the Four of Flames at home. But there may only be two flames at home with no affection and defenseless in holding back passion for the Queen of Swords reversed, also without affection. The Queen of Wands must take the high road now and step aside if she wants a true union for herself. Sovereign is the path that he chooses. Once injustices are corrected by his offer of love and harsh truth of any issues in his life, stemming from need for control, or possibly a father who is an alcoholic, drug, sex, illness, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, and Scorpio, Aries, and Capricorn can be coming up here, the King of Wands wants the buttercup yellow, the Mary Magdalene, 
and doesn't care what the emperor, devil, or Capricorn thinks. With sudden jealousy and need to protect self and twin for reunion, the best he saved for later, like on the playground, he's saying now that um, he's referencing back to that playground example I gave you, that his twin is the best that he saved for later because he wasn't courageous enough on the playground to approach her at that time. Sweet judgment day is here. He can get through this execution transformation of Jesus as we are playing out Jesus and Mary Magdalene on the cross. He can get through this execution transformation without a crown of thorns on his head with the help of his twin, Mary Magdalene, but he must step forward to make retribution before his hand is forced at the full moon, which is too late, and then he will have to suffer the consequences. So it's trying to teach us that um, in our power that we know we have now, we've learned how to maintain without the pain, not completely, but certainly minimize the pain. And so the Mathen has learned now how to do that to get through the, the death of Jesus on the cross by staying present at zero point along with his divine feminine if he chooses to come forward and make retribution to her before the 18th of the full moon. And if he doesn't, then he will have to suffer the consequences of the pain that Jesus went through on the cross. And there will be consequences and then that's when the divine comes in and kicks his butt, basically. So I turn the page and it's 1217 the consequences of not loving himself, that would be. As within, so without, Jesus willed his suffering and death to pay for what he thought was his failure to awaken them, failure to have loved himself and Mary Magdalene the way they both deserved. The grim reaper, the reaper of souls, would then have been, because the grim reaper, he reaps just like you would reap what you sow, the grim reaper comes and reaps people's souls. So when he passed away, the grim reaper of souls would then have been his tormentors and his people, his followers, all of them. They would have all been the reapers of his cross to bear, and I was getting B-E-A-R as the animal, for 2,000 plus 20 years. 2020 hindsight for you all. And, and spirits still connecting with me. Then I was getting stuff about the bear and um, the relationship to the Catholic Church. So the one entry I found about the bear and how it's related to the Catholic Church was the Roman Catholic Church uh, took over from pagan Rome as uh, humanism of Greece. So that was represented as the leopard. And this was from worldslastchance.com. So the pagan Rome, uh, so that when the Catholic Church took over here, they're saying from pagan Rome as the persecuting power, humanism of Greece was called the leopard. The exaltation of Sunday from Medo-Persia, or Medo-Persia, however it's pronounced, is represented by the bear. So Sunday is the bear, and then Easter Sunday would be Sunday, and then isn't it uh, Palm Sunday, or but just Sunday in general, going to church on Sunday, is being represented by the bear, and then worship calculated or continuous weekly cycle was from Babylon, and that's represented by the lion. But the bear was important here. So I was also getting, uh, there's an entry that came up about Pentecost and Easter, and realize that Pentecost is Pentacles cost, right? It's all about money. Easter rising from the ashes of Lent, sacrifice. And remember, we're no longer about sacrifice. We're about joy, but Jesus doesn't want to be seen on the cross. He wants to be seen breaking bread at the table. So then uh, I look up there, and this was from spirit an spiritanimals.info. There is a little poem here about the bear. Deep in slumber, dreams unending, Wise old bear, patient, strong, send me dreams of transformation. Grant me intuition along with introspection of my life, inner listening, and no more strife. And that was DJ Conway. The other information that came up about the bear 
from that um, it was spiritanimals.info and also spirit-animals I think it's .com fortitude and leadership don't be afraid to show how powerful you are introspection bring children closer to you a need to protect your young perhaps overly sensitive all right so we're getting then um, okay and bears hibernate so all right that's the twins hibernating you're being represented by the bear so listen carefully there were four bears represented here and of course you all hibernate we have the grizzly bear who's perhaps overly sensitive and maybe a little bit paranoid but those are the aggressive warriors we have the kermode or the spiritual bears which are all about the environment that all all must do their part but those would be the twins who focus on the ecology of the planet then we have the brown bear who's all about balance and, and integrity to generate harmony and ecology of the planet as well and are very very um, much in their knowing about what their mission and destiny is in order to help others along on their paths and then the fourth one was the black bear that they are um, they are very patient in manifesting and they know just the right moment to come out with their ideas and their projects to the universe so they're very patient in holding back until they're ready and they're also very nurturing and protecting of children so those are the four groups of twins so then we get back into the read um, soon is the tiger right so this is the strength card which is usually a lion but here we have a tiger so for me this is, can be very much Sagittarius energy as well as Leo energy but it's very much about the tiger's eye and um, with your eye on the prize right so soon the tiger strength is ready to pounce now that the worst is over of orchestrated synchronicities to guide us to awakening of the sun to exposure happiness jesus and kids to be naked and free the spring news or message exposing all supporting aquarius while they tainted the water in other words emotions and now leo and or sag queen of wands looks away from partner king of pentacles exposing everything by microphone energetics okay so microphone is like uh, communication by energy as opposed to something literal the masculine sees himself as sovereign independent single with everything he needs using his DN angel abilities to make a bold move twins offering love to each other as well as a new life chained to each other accepting each other's shadow as well that there needs to be balance of light and dark love and money and time together enough already of a part calling in so there's a lot of romance angels cards that came up here for the masculine calling in soulmate make an effort that love is worth the effort separation give the relationship a chance honeymoon let friends help and then true love this is a romance of a lifetime as I turn the page, it is now 1253, and 53 is the Knight of, of Swords, the Messenger of Truth, the Knight in Shining Armor rushing in with truth. Sometimes it's a little harsh. Around him, some may be crying in sorrow, up at night and in need of rest, especially with all these heavy energies coming in. The Divine Masculine needs to clear blocks around BS. Liars, cheaters, and thieves. The Den of Thieves comes up with the Garden of Gethsemane and the Twelve Apostles building up to the, the um, transformation of Jesus. We're not calling it that anymore. So I was being guided here. They're telling you, call a spade a spade. Like, don't let things sit. Speak it when it needs to be spoken. Call a spade a spade. No pleasantries needed. Only need a shovel if there is BS to get it out of the way. And BS was coming up as also Brothers, Bow Sounds, and Bookstore, Akashic Records. That's the past. People talking, small talk, gossiping, comments not solicited. Let go of the past. Don't pretend to not know. God always knows. You can't hide. Be in your knowing. No need to break your back working 
or wielding a sword to prove your worth or triumph. One who truly enjoys what they do keeps doing it even when the crowds have gone home or away. Do not feel burdened or need to defend or pretend not to know the truth. If the Queen of Wands or other karmic energy should approach you, her contract is done and whatever she has to say, she can say to God, Source, Creator, unless, of course, she wants to make amends. She knew he was feeling the Divine Feminine, you, and pretended not to in order to stay comfortable. She is reaping her karma from what she owed to you, Divine Feminine and Masculine. Um, synchronicities came up as really important for the Masculine as well as Patience. This is the Environment card, right? So that was what's around the Masculine and how he is seen. Okay, so it's the Five of Cups of letting go of the loss, but there may be some purges coming back up. And then this was what the uh, masculines need to block is the liar, cheater, thief energy. But this is also um, passing on downloads, not being afraid to pass on the information he receives. He needs to remove that block. That's fear. So the queen of wands is now switching places. Now she's out in the cold from a big love romance of the masculine and the feminine, the divine masculine making it up to his twin waiting patiently in the fantasy mirror she had been waiting patiently in the fantasy mirror reflecting in the sealed 5d world talking at the gate like so only when they could communicate whether it be telepathy or heart communication whatever the theoric realms whatever the communication was that was their only way of communication alchemy of suffering and lack of a mother's suffering is over So alchemy of suffering or lacks, that's one thing that was coming up here at the end of the read, or a mother's suffering is over, so there may have been a sick parent who may have passed, so their suffering is over, or patience with, with your own psychic abilities for the masculine, or a child's psychic abilities that a masculine may be dealing with, or another mother or the karmic feminine has begun her purging journey and needs to learn from the divine feminine. So these are the last two cards of the read. We have the alchemy card. And then the Page of Pentacles here, which is very much about learning your psychic abilities. Okay? And that's the Page of Crystals, actually, or the Seeker of Crystals, is called in the Syrian Starseed deck. So there's an opportunity for students from those ahead of them when business is slow, the opportunity for the Divine Masculine to offer help to the Divine Feminine and to children. The King of Wands reversed in uncomfortable emotions, offering help holding back their passions with the Queen of Swords, who is in need of warmth. He's lacking faith and may have fallen on his face or fallen from grace in front of the King of Swords and Queen of Wands, which I'm getting is the Queen of Wands with her lawyer. Imprisoned in, in present moment, giving up the false light and victim mentality, this is the masculine, to come together for a noble co-creation. So Two of Cups, Angel Partners in Crime, Sovereigns in their grief, unconditionally loving, destined to carry the weight of the world, be strong and take risk of union and alchemize their psychic abilities and co-create on mission. Partners in love, releasing fear for destined union with confession, holding their own, sovereign and fierce, over the loss, passing downloads in order to alchemize their abilities. Okay, so that was the read today. And I will post a I will post something for the the oracle cards separately, like I've been doing. Um, but this is the read today. Okay, that's the basic read. Okay, and then the full read. to take care of yourselves in these energies and don't get down on yourself if you have a purge or if you cry it's okay um, just bring yourself back to zero point when you're ready and you know the game do the dance drink your water get your rest and just do what you need to love yourself first rise and be loved guys <laughs>